U. Le Mans Viper driver Tommy Kendall summed up the U perfectly in two sentences. The best thing about this car is that it will do exactly what you tell it to do. And the worst thing about this car is that it will do exactly what you tell it. He s not kidding. Turn it too quickly, or get too deep into the 8. 4 liter V10 in the middle of a corner in just about any gear and the rear end will break loose. Putting up a serious fight against the driver's control of the beast. This track focused model is obedient. But it demands deference. It's the automotive equivalent of a circus tiger. One wrong move and you re going to be in a world of hurt. U A TA it stands for track attack. So you can get your mind out of the gutter starts life as a U and gets a host of alterations. Made with a single focus. Lowering lap times. These include Pirelli P0 Casa tires. Two small carbon fiber splitters with a replaceable wear strip. New damper tuning. 20% stiffer springs. A 35% stiffer front anti-roll bar. A 31% stiffer rear anti-roll bar. A high camber alignment, reworked brake rotors and pads, and a carbon fiber engine bay brace and rear spoiler. Orange stitching on the cloth interior DOESN T make you any faster. It just feels that way. The engine, the gearbox, and the shifter are the same as those found in base cars. You, 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 for those who have made such changes to personal cars. That list might sound a little skimpy. Considering the Taka Man's is $16. Oh, 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 premium over the $104. 480 base car. But the changes are certainly quantifiable. For example, those little splitters in the spoiler help produce a claimed 460 pounds of downforce at 150 miles per hour. Compared with the base car, S.